What's up, you guys? It's Mika here. Meekity Meek 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 from Cosmic Warrior. All right. I hope you guys are doing well on this Valentine's Day. Um, as you can see, I'm up here uploading videos on Valentine's Day. And because I'm single, I'm taking my damn self out on a date. How about that? Self-love, finding happiness within. Okay. So this reading is going to be um, for my Gemini's here. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, Venus, North Node, um, if you don't resonate with the reading, you can check other parts of your birth chart there. Um, please like the video, comment, let me know um, if the story resonates. Um, that is very important, guys, to help my channel grow um, and for me to keep putting out content. Also, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so every time I upload, you guys will be one of the first ones to receive it. All right. So remember that my readings are timeless, guys. So uh, whenever you get to the reading, that's when it's good for. Um, energy is interchangeable, so you can interchange the energy according to how it fits your story there. OK, but it's not your story. It's not your story. And the fact that you're watching me do readings, you probably already know that. So just <laughs> take what resonates there and uh, leave the rest, okay? All right, so I'm gonna get right into it. Um, what is, what's going on with my Gemini's here? What is the overall energy here? Or uh, what is the message? Energy from the universe. What is the message here that my Gemini's need to hear? Let me know what's going on with them. Let me know what they're thinking. All right, one more shuffle here. All right. Okay, so you may be dealing with um, an air sign or water sign. So Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? Someone, someone envisions themselves with you guys. Someone, um, Gemini can see like they they are thinking about you like they um, they can see you guys they can see themselves with you right for long term possibly for the rest of, rest of their life like they've been thinking about this they possibly been dreaming about it here okay the Prince of Cups here yeah so possibly like this person is even thought about even you know marrying you or proposing to you here um you know or you you know like you could be you know thinking about your person like you can see yourself with this person for the rest of your life like you could be thinking about you know proposing to this person you know with the romantic gesture like you can see the big bigger picture here okay um it definitely could be an air sign here because i have more air energy okay uh, we have four swords here, okay? So, yeah, so you could, you know, like this could be like you could be dealing with someone and you want to, you know, uh, something could have went down or there could possibly be like no communication here, um, but I show a truce. So, you know, you could be wanting to come back in to this person and have a truce. Like you could probably want to make up with this person here um, and start over new. You know, like you're coming out of solitude, so that's telling me that you may have broke it off with this person or took a break or took some time to yourself, but you definitely want to, you know, maybe come back and start over new, maybe talk about it, communicate with this person, apologize, because I definitely see a truce here, okay? So you see yourself with this person, Gemini, um, for the rest of your life. Like after you came out of solitude, like you probably realize, you know, I can definitely see myself with this person here. Like you, you, you had time to think about it, you know, you think about, you know, like I said, maybe possibly proposing there. You know, you had time to recover. So you guys probably, you know, got in an argument or something like that. You, you know, you guys, you withdrew, you withdrew here. Okay. Um, I definitely do see, you know, it was definitely a lot of emotions there. So, you know, this, you definitely have a lot of emotions for this person here. And, you know, 
you you are trying to maybe intuitively go in like you know you went into solitude here you know you retreated for a little bit here and you know you were definitely under some emotions you know and you had time to you know maybe recover from whatever went on with you and this other person here but I definitely show some deep emotions that you're having for this person. And and from actually being in solitude and separated from this person, you probably did realize that you do have deep emotions for this person. So you want to come back with the truth here, you know, because you see yourself with them, you know, for a long-term commitment there. Could be a fire sign as well, okay? Yeah, yeah, so, you know, this again is, is showing me that it's the reason why you went into solitude, like, yeah, so, you know, this person simply was, like, exhausting you, like, you probably felt like, you know, um, you know, this person may have put too much on you, like, this person maybe had a lot of baggage or maybe put a lot of the, res like, some type of responsibilities on you, but you definitely, you know, this person exhausted you you know, for all of your energy, like you were stressed. So this person, you know, like I said, may have had a lot of baggage here, you know, um, you know, and that's why, you know, but you, I definitely see that you want to come back in though and communicate with this person, you know, after you had time to retreat and recover here. Okay. Death card. So yeah, I'm showing that you, you are definitely, maybe thinking about letting go of the connection or you're having a hard time with letting the connection go, you know, with that death in reverse. Okay. Um, like, you know, I show that you may be possibly losing hope in this connection. Uh, but this person, you know, got you, you know, whatever went on with you and this person, like they got you, like they, like you're feeling like destroyed, like this person, Whatever they did, you know, they, they they drained you, you know, it left you feeling burdened and, and stressed. And, you know, with this death in reverse, it left you, you know, feeling, um, you know, destroyed. And you possibly, like I said, lost hope or you, you also lost hope in a relationship. Like you feel like this relationship may be like, you know, not going anywhere or it just, you know, you just feel like the relationship is stuck, you know which I can see, I can see that it's the reason why, you know, Gemini, you went into solitude, okay, but I can definitely see a lot of the emotions is definitely running high, though, okay, um, all right, so that's what I see for your energy, but, you know, despite losing hope, you know, you definitely still vision, you know, you definitely still vision yourself with this person, I see you actually going back in to possibly, you know, make things right here, try to make things right okay so that's your uh energy okay all right so let's see what's going on with your person here energy from the universe let me know what's going on with the person that gemini is dealing with what's going on with the person that gemini is dealing with energy from the universe let me know what's going on with the person that my Gemini's are dealing with. One more shuffle here. All right. Okay, so your your person is definitely definitely thinking about money and wealth. Um, they're concentrated, they're concentrating on their money right now. Um, you know, like they, they definitely are thinking about the future here as far as building their wealth here, you know, with the 10 of wands. Okay. Could be dealing with the earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, uh, you know, this looks like they haven't dealt with some pain in the past. So that could be the reason as to why, um, the ten of swords that could be the reason why gemini that you do feel burdened because this person probably didn't deal with some hurts in the past here so they're kind of like deflecting all of that onto you guys um so i can definitely see as to why uh gemini you guys are feeling you know like very burdened and stressed and exhausted because this person is exhausting you you know because of 
of the energy that they still have on them from things that went on in the past with them, probably from some past relationships, you know, that, that, that left them ruined here. So I'm showing that your person still has some healing to do and they're focusing, um, their, their focus is definitely on money here. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what I see. You know, um, they're, they're basically like trying to move on. Like they're trying with that ten of swords in reverse. It's like they want a new start with you, Gemini, but they um, they ha they're having a hard time moving on from someone that caused them a lot of pain in the past. Okay, like they're still recovering from that, and they haven't yet moved on, but they are trying to, you know. And their your person has a hard time forgiving. That's what I kind of see. You know, so they haven't let go of, like I said, something something that was done to them that they haven't forgave and let go and actually move forward. Okay, but with that, uh, so I can see why you guys may have separated because without this person actually letting go and bringing those pains into the relationship, you know, I can see, you know, why possibly that could have led you into going into solitude, you know, because that led could have possibly led to a lot of arguments, Gemini, and deflection, then deflecting onto you, okay? Deflecting those, that energy onto you, okay? Yeah, but your, your person is definitely, you know, also very focused on money here, okay? Five of Pentacles in reverse here, yeah. Yeah, so your person, like I said, yeah, they're definitely, could have, you know, it's definitely worried about money here, okay? Um, not only are they somewhat worried about money, like they're, like they're looking like they're trying to like, they're trying to possibly, like your person is trying to buy like, um, you know, like they could be looking for work right now, you know? And like I said, like your energy showed that you felt burdened. So, you know, this, this person probably doesn't have much money or they could be probably possibly struggling with money and you felt the burden of all the responsibilities being put on you possibly. That's what I kind of see. Cause I do see them, um, you know, this time your person may be looking for ways to make money, new ways to make money or possibly, you know, a new job here. But they're, you know, they're definitely, that's what their mind is on right now. Okay. You know, but this person also still does have hope, you know, just like you. You know, this person definitely still does have hope in the connection, though. You know, so if it's some type of, you know, money struggle going on in the relationship or this person hasn't dealt with past pain, they still do have hope, okay? But this person is your emperor, so you could be dealing with the Aries too, okay? So, um, the emperor, yeah, so this person, you know, is kind of like taking like an immature route to going with dealing with their issues here, because, you know, uh, well, Yeah, this person, so this person you're dealing with could definitely be some type of authority figure, you know, father figure, uh, or somebody with like some type of authoritative type of um, energy here uh, with the inner, uh, with the emperor, okay? But this person is still trying to like strate strategically plan. Like what I kind of see here is this person is definitely thinking about it's just a lot of money here. Like they're trying to, um, you know, they focus on planning on how they can grow their money here, how they can bring more money in, how they can bring more money in so that they can, you know, grow, grow their wealth in their, you know, you know, and that's what I kind of see here. Okay. Um, then we have the dancer in reverse, princess of wands in reverse here. So like this person, um, like this person here, um, yeah, so yeah, like I said, you know, I was about to say like this person is finding like an immature way of uh, 
dealing with their pain, you know, with this Princess of Wands in reverse. With that Princess of Wands in reverse, they still have like some growing to do, you know, like within themselves too, as far as, you know, dealing with, um, you know, issues, current issues, issues from the past. Um, yeah, and they're just, they're just really struggling as far as how to move forward as far as, as, as money as well. Um, that's what I kind of see. Um, you know, sometimes like this person, you know, I also see like this person could be bored too. Like I see like some type of like they get bored easily, the person you're dealing with, you know, so uh, this person could have been like exhausting you and training you because maybe this person likes to argue, like maybe they were bored, I don't know, in the relationship. They need like some type of entertainment um, and, it, and it could have possibly drove you away too because that was just, you know, they could just probably just been too, doing too much just because you know, just because they were fucking bored, <laughs> you know, so that's, that's what I see in their energy here. They were probably, like, trying to get, like, some type of reaction or something, you know, from you, you know, just maybe to, like, I don't know, liven it up a little bit. Um, all right, so let's see what's going on as far as the possible outcome here. What is the possible outcome? What is the possible outcome of this? this connection here. Yeah, like this person probably could have been depending on you for entertainment, <laughs> but really they just need, need to go out, like they just need to go outside and have some fun, maybe with some friends or whatever, you know, to the club, I don't know. But instead they could just be like starting shit in the relationship simply for their own entertainment, you know. All right. Last shuffle. What is the possible outcome for my Gemini's relationship here? Actually, one more shuffle here. One more shuffle. All right. What is the possible outcome? The judgment. Okay, so, yeah, so for possible outcome, um, for the possible outcome, I, I see, you know, some, somebody's going to make, like, a final, you know, decision, you know, so someone's going to come into clarity, you know, as far as what they need to do to move forward here, um, you know. It's, this is going to be like some type of wake up call for someone. Um, this could be you, Gemini's. You know, you may realize, you know, what you truly may need to do in this connection here. Um, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. So I mean, you you may find that like like someone is gonna you know I see someone possibly you know, walking away from the connection, and that may be the choice, you know, someone's going to come to clarity, uh, you may come to clarity, Gemini, and actually get a wake-up call as far as what really needs to be done, and that may be, with this Eight of Pentacles in reverse, may, you know, I actually kind of see possibly walking away, you know, from this connection here, because it's simply just draining you, so I really don't actually, you know, see you staying, you know, in this, possibly, you know, or, you know, you may decide, like, you may be thinking about walking away, like, once you get clarity, but at the same time, you know, you, you know, you want to also, like I say, someone wants to still repair, someone still wants to repair the relationship, so I do see you guys maybe coming to a truth and coming to some type of communication and, and working things out possibly as well. You know, and and someone, you know, the person you're dealing with is going to need to also focus on the relationship too because your person you're dealing with, their energy is simply showing just maybe simply focus on just money and that's it. Um, most, of, most of their attention is on some things that they haven't let go in the past and money, okay? So, yeah. So their focus, you know, is going to have to actually be on the relationship 
that's what I see the outcome. I do see that, you know, that this possibly this person is still going to have a lack of focus on the relationship here and the possible outcome. That's what I kind of see. Like, they're still going to be really concentrated on money and what's going on. Everything is going to be revolved around that. And you may come to some type of clarity here from that and some type of wake-up call and make some type of decision. That's what I see. Um, and it may be walking away, you know. Um, and we have the emperor here. Yeah. Yeah, so we have the emperor here too, you know. So, yeah, so, you know, planning is for the outcome too, okay. So, you know, in Gemini's, you know, if you don't come to a decision of actually walking away, you know, once coming to, coming to some type of clarity, like, you know, you, you know, I do see like you planning to find ways, you know, strategically planning to find ways to, you know, get the respect that you want in the relationship and also planning on how, you know, this thing can actually move forward, you know, strategically planning on how you can move things forward here. And that's what I kind of see here. Like, you're going to have to be the leader. Someone's going to definitely have to step up here, okay? So, yeah, that's what I kind of see for the possible outcome, Gemini. So, um... You know, for majority of you guys, I, I, I do see you maybe possibly walking away, you know, from this connection because this person is simply not putting the effort, the effort and the attention on the, on the connection here. And that's what I see here. All right. So um, that's all I got for you, my Gemini. So um, if that story did resonate here, um, please like, comment, don't forget to subscribe, hit that post notification button so every time I upload it, you guys can receive it. Um, and that's what I got. So um, all love coming from my way, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.